This is an endotracheal tube, or ET tube. It comes in a sterile bag. It is a long, hollow, plastic tube. It is curved. It is used to provide us with a definitive airway in patients. Definitive because it lies below the level of the vocal cords and it has a cuff to secure it in place. The cuff can be inflated by pushing around 10 millilitres of air via a syringe into this port. Indications for the use of this tube are emergency and elective. Emergency situations include cardiac arrest or respiratory arrest. Patients in whom we need to take over their airway definitively. Elective indications include general anaesthetic for patients undergoing long surgical procedures. Contraindications to the use of this tube include patients who need a surgical procedure that may require perhaps some neck dissection, in which case you might have to do a tracheostomy and ventilate the patient via a tracheostomy tube. Complications of the use of this tube include trauma to the larynx and laryngospasm during insertion. Other complications include aspiration. This is an ET tube designed to provide a definitive airway, hence the cuff. However, it's possible that a patient may aspirate. This means that the stomach contents is vomited or regurgitated and then it passes into the lungs. This can happen during insertion of these tubes, so ideally in elective situations, we tend to make sure that a patient has fasted from solid foods for at least six hours before we try and insert an ET tube. I've seen this tube used in emergency situations discussed and in elective situations in the operating theatre. It's commonly used by anaesthetists to provide a definitive airway in patients who require oxygenation and ventilation during a general anaesthetic. In summary, this is a sterile single-use ET tube or endotracheal tube. It's used to provide a definitive airway during procedures such as a general anaesthetic or in an emergency situation it may be used in patients with cardiac or respiratory arrest.